Welcome to Bay House Gaming. I am Bay House, and we are playing RimWorld. Um, the last episode was a uh, silent one. Um, kind of just wanted to play and really didn't have much to say, even though some things of interest did pop up kind of at the last second. Um, mainly being the fact that I lost my transport pod while I was out doing an away mission. I have no idea what happened to it. I don't know how to get it back, but, you know, being as resilient as ever, which is one thing RimWorld will teach you, resiliency, um, I built another one, um, bought some stuff off of a orbital trade ship, um, a trade ship orbiting my colony, and um, I bought some uh, components, and, uh, you know, we got, we got it going on. Um, I am currently trying to get this multi-analyzer built, which I am going to, that's Pan already doing it, so Pan's going to do it, um, yeah, no, ground penetrating scanner, so we can get more components and get more, you know, uh, advanced components and we can progress the progress the research tree because we're basically almost done with the research tree um, I'm just picking anything to keep it going keep my people's skills uh, up till we get to this last section over here this last bit and um, I think we're going to go for all of this um, vitals Krause fabrication uh, uranium uh, recon this thing, um, pulse charge munitions, maybe, but really we're going for bionic replacements. We're going to make a bunch of, uh, robo people, bionic folks, um, advanced, fab advanced fabrication. We're going to go for that. And then we're going to go for end game stuff to see if we can get off this rock and there will be a extremely modded playthrough I saw mods that have magic the, the people have magic capabilities throwing fireballs and lightning balls and um, what is it quality of life uh, quality of life mods you know just make things a little bit simpler like um, the ability to run and gun um, I know there's one about friendly fire I don't know if it applies right now I don't think I've been taking much friendly fire and I have not been I've not been careful at all. I just, I don't have any placement for my folks. Um, there's one also I saw is basically like you tell them to go kill anything that's not friendly. And um, I'm interested in that one also. So things like that. Um, uh, we, we got our new our prisoner that was in jail pretty much all of last episode and a little bit of the previous one uh, Tuttle uh, No turtle, excuse me turtle turtle joined us um, and is thriving in our community um, You know we got the bedrooms adjusted. Uh, I locked all these doors so people can't get into them um, You know we don't just because I think this is what sent Vass off into a tizzy, being in these dark rooms doing stuff. So we don't want that. Turtle cannot, doesn't have the ability to doctor. So. Who is this? Oleg. Let's check Oleg real quick. I'll get back to Turtle. Um, yeah, self tan. Okay, so Turtle can't self tan because they have no ability at all for doctoring. So, good luck for Turtle. Um, self tending has saved quite a few people in this colony. Uh, I think we've only had two reloads. Um, you know, been trying to play it safe. Our supplies are looking good. Um, 
like I said, we're going to get this uh, ground penetrating radar built, and we're going to going to um, try to find some more components. Um, so we and advanced components, which we might own, we might have to buy, but we're working on that so we can get the multi analyzer to plug in next to our lab, which I think we will have to do another lab. What hunters like okay, turtle. We'll get you weaponed up, Tuttle. Turtle. I don't know why I keep calling it Tuttle. Calling the person Tuttle. There you go. Auto pistol. There you go. Booyah. Okay. Summer is winding through. Um colonists are idle, and I don't mind the idleness. We had a squad of York Shower Terriers, uh, Yorkies, join us. Um, they got the plague, and you know they were ended up starving because we have no animal food production going on. If you can't graze for yourself, you are out of luck in this regards. I mean, in this village. But we have a muffalo. It's called Muffalo One. And what's Muffy doing? Muffy's out, just muffing around, I reckon, doing what it does. So, that's cool. Um, I think we'll stick Muffalo on guard. Pet area, okay, so yeah. Things are happening, everything's good in the village. Um, Okay, so they melted down all the slag. We can turn this machine off to smelter. There we go, smelter's off. I, I would really like to get rid of these poor clothes that we have. But, you know, maybe somebody will come by that we can trade with. Also figured out I need to bring my wood inside. Um, so that's um, something that we're working on. I think we've used all our wood or deteriorated, deteriorated, deteriorated. I can't say the word right now. But um, it went to rot basically, and um, that's. Using wood for biofuel, um, for chem fuel production. Um, and we still need, you know, we're still in the throes of summer, so we still need our wood for our cooler boxes. But all in all, people are healthy, happy and healthy. Um, like I said, we still can't do much on the drugs and making medicine. We can make all type of drugage, but um, I need to figure out where to get this neurotrome. Need to figure out where to get that from. We have some. Well, we have quite a bit. So maybe I should continue that build. Why is it rated out? What is... Oh, because we have so much. Okay. But we've been making medicine and good. 
Speaking of that, these little mad bushes should be um, been waiting all season for them to grow properly so we can harvest them. You know, so that's good. They're they're finally old enough to be harvested. Um, mature enough to be harvested. So we'll get that going. Give the people something to do. While we still have summer, um, we might want to do another berry bush run. Just to, again, load up for the winter time. We have more people. We want to make sure we're able to feed everybody this winter. We don't want any starvation issues. Okay, so that's enough from all around the map. Yeah. We might try to send another away mission out just to travel and see this time we will definitely try to keep our pod so we don't lose that we won't be able to build it back quite so easily um, the gear is still not getting torched legs on a Olga. Olga. Mm, Olga is on a work frenzy, so go ahead, Olga, get your work on. Just eat. Make sure you eat food. Is there anything that we can hunt? Okay, ground penetrating radar is active. Awesome. And that has to be outside, so, you know, there you go, it's outside. We'll get right back to that. I want to check the work schedule to see. I think. Trees cut, woods getting used, bushes are getting picked. I honestly, just because we don't seem to be having so many, um, so many fights. So, wait a minute. So they're doing ground penetrating radar stuff. How do I see?
there's a bunch of these mad boom rats. Shoot it. Oh, it's gonna kill you. It's absolutely gonna kill you. Jim, what are you doing, buddy? Try to make your way up here, dude. Oh my goodness. We need to draft everybody. We need to get everybody out here. A lot of bodies. lay down in the line of fire like that was totally not the best move but we got all the boom rats so cool for the booming but that's mother nature we can't do anything about the thunderstorms yeah we took care of that emergency people are getting healed up a relationship has formed Holy chicken. No, 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 no. How did Jim... That's not cool. Um, yeah, that's not cool at all. No, Jim's not dying. Not because of some boom rights. Blew half his body off. People don't normally die from that. In RimWorld. While I'm playing this run. Okay? Because we don't allow it. Oh my goodness. So, I think that was before all of my planned cutting. Nope, nope, the cutting is still there. Did I set the herbs up? The herbs are still there. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. That never happened. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was a pain. So, how do I use this radar? I mean, I would like to find some stuff that's underground. Is it doing what it's supposed to do? Um, I have this. I don't know what to do with it also. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. Let me pause. Scanned underground uranium. Okay, that's underground uranium. I don't think we need underground uranium, but, you know, thank you for doing that. Travis, good guy Travis. And so that's working. As soon as I said something about it, it's working. That's cool. So I just basically, basically I guess um, I need to watch this side panel for when they discover something. Steel underground, alright, that's cool. Jump to 
when somebody's using it. I don't know what's under there. Okay, so now we have some combat with the Red Nation. A uh, combat nation, a raid. And they... I think we're going to just... I need to read those tulips that pop up to tell you what the folks are going to do when they come in. They might be peaceful people, but, you know, just in case they're not. So if you notice, reloading doesn't guarantee you're going to have a smooth anything. They kind of, I think they, the AI shuffles, shuffles what you got going on and it gives you, you know, gives you something else. So that's, that's pretty cool. Let's see who we can trade with.
So I want to send a group of folks down, and um, I think we want to open up. There's there's some kind of pre-made structure. Why are people starving, man? So how do I get them? How do I stop them from eating the ambrosia? I thought I took it off the diet list. I I don't know. But I think that's what it is. They start taking the ambrosia and forgetting about everything they need to do. And going on a crazy binge. Oh, so... Friendly Fire is on. Well, I mean, obviously it's on. I thought they worked it out of the game. It has not been because Angie's injuries seem to be... Angie's injuries <laughs> seem to be... Yeah, I have to find out what Ambrosia is classified as. Angie's injuries seem to be... Uh, inflicted by another colonist, which is not cool. Let's uh, check everybody's weapons and whatnot. It's like I said, I want to take a delegation down to the bottom of the map and and see what's inside one of these uh, pre-existing structures covered by the fastness of time. So yeah, we'll take the whole squad. So I think it, they're just, besides the drugs, I think it's, they work too hard and end up going to sleep and they're hungry when they go to sleep. So that's kind of a lot of the problem. So, all right. Before I do all that corralling again and listing the good people, Let's find out where we're trying to go. Where is that structure? I saw it. Ah, oh, here it is. Cool. Everybody's up. Uh, 
Let's go. Basically, I don't know how to control my people, so what else? Okay. I think we get plasteel from these guys as bodies. Pikemen. Healthy. Too bad we can't convert the pikemen. Because I'm totally down with converting the pikemen. Um, we need to draft you all and get you back here so we can blast this dude. Okay. All right, well, people are eating. Good, jeez. Okay, 
right, so this thing is just running. So what was happening is our seamstress just makes crappy clothes most of the time and they're 100% as in they're, there's no damage to them. But I had the wrong thing checked, I had the wrong criteria checked, it was only saying 99% so it wouldn't take care of it, wouldn't burn any, any of those, so that's what, that's what that was. We only have normal and better clothing, and that's good. I don't know what to do with that big old robot, but I do know we're gonna unplug this thing.
yeah, okay, so that's our colony. Everything's going. Um, we're getting ever so much closer to the end game, which is building a ship and getting our people off this this rock so they can go colonize the rest of space, I reckon. Um, I don't know what to do with this Ambrose. Oh, the Ambrose is gone. Good. So people are going to be having withdrawal fits. Um, Andy's throwing a party at the party spot. Cool for Andy and her crew. base is extremely tidy. Which is a good thing. Let me say that. It is a good thing. Again, we have our multi-analyzer. I mean, our ground penetrating radar. It's not telling us anything we really want to dig up yet. I'm not making bullets and I'm not building turrets. I don't have the supplies for it. But, you know, it's a good thing that it's, um, it's a good thing that it's working. Yeah, so I think I'm going to build a secure room for the Ambrosia. It might be done for this time of year anyway. But I'm going to build a secure room for the Ambrosia and we'll lock it behind that door next season. Um, once we once we pick it up, you know, once I have the good colonists, the good people harvest it, it will, it will go behind lock and key so they can't drug binge out and eat into our profits. I'm sure that's what the problem is. We have plenty of food and everybody... In... Yeah, he's over here just having a dog on. I'm a... I'm a fit person mess. That's what's going on with him. Oh, goodness. Come on, dude. I think it's hilarious that they give you the option to just strip them once they fall down. It's like, hey, you know... They're out of commission, you can just take everything they have. It's totally not a nice thing, but I think it's hilarious that they give that option. And then we'll do another round of Everybody Eats. just losing their minds right now. Mm-hmm. Everybody, they're walking around trying to find some more drugs. They're gone. You used them all. Food. 
did I mess up the food assignments? No, they can eat. Okay, that's probably all my fault, as usual. I had simple meals deselected and tribal meals selected, and I meant the opposite. It's getting a little bit nippy outside. It might be time to warm up the complex. Um, we should do a massive wood haul. And I think we're going to also allow wood to be stored in here just so it doesn't go, doesn't go manky on us. Honestly, wouldn't mind building a section of this just for wood also. Putting another zone in. Stop. Also, a the chem fuel is also a commodity we can sell to traders that come by. So we want to keep that production going. I could 
possibly rearrange that room a little bit. Let's look into that since we're not doing any. The Taylor bench can move into this area. That's cool. Um, I think we'll move the light also. Oh, never mind. We won't move the light. Sw swap some stuff up and we'll be able to squeeze our multi analyzer in. Trade beacon doesn't need to be in this room anymore. But um we'll deal with all that. Uh, what is going on? Oh, we went through all our food. Who's cooking? No one's cooking. Why is no one cooking?
thanks for hanging. Get ready for Caught in the Bay. Um, and essentially, uh, Caught in the Drift. Essentially, that's going to be our let's tries, you know, or one offs. We're going to pick a game, see if we like it, see what got caught in the drift, you know, on any given day, and try it out. Uh, won't give too much impression. We'll just play it and see what it is. And if we want to, bring it into the bay house and actually play it we will do that um but yeah get ready for caught in the drift um there's a couple of games going to be rolled out on our channel here on my channel here um and i think you'll like them please give your feedback we're going to get the patreon up and running and i am pretty sure that the first goal is going to be to uh, help raise the eight thousand dollars for He needs a wheelchair ramp, Jaden Kong, you know. Um, and that's going to be my first goal. So every dollar raised through Patreon um, will go directly to that until that goal is, that um, GoFundMe goal is met. Uh, you can check my Twitter feed, my Twitter page. It has a link directly to it. So if you feel so inclined, you can donate and help out him and his family. Um, but I think it's a good cause, and that's what we're going to do with our Patreon, uh, our first goal on Patreon, which will be up and running real soon. So, till then, everybody stay safe, happy gaming, and stay strong.